thank you for a little introduction. Uh, my presentation is about um, view of man in the thinking of John Amos Comenius. My concern in my dissertation thesis is not primarily about Comenius theology, but about his reflection or reception in our Slovak Lutheran Church in 17th, 18th century. So um, I will give some some points from his anthropology and then maybe um, his feel, maybe his message uh, for today. So, Odkiaľ čerpám komenského pohľad na človeka? What is the source of my information about Comenius's view on human being? Ten pohľad nie je jednotný počas komenského práce a diela. It's not a unified uh, a monolithic uh, viewpoint. Mm-hmm. Ale sa vyvíjal v jeho skoršom, potom v neskoršom období. But of course it, it underwent certain evolution. Mm-hmm. Tu sa skôr zamerám na jeho skoršie diela, didaktické diela a, a pancofické, alebo ešte také, že prípravné k pancofii. So I will uh, mainly focus uh, today on his early works. Mm. And these early works are first of all in the field of pedagogy and pan- pancofistic ideas. Pretože ešte treba povedať, že Komenského vnímame, on sám seba vnímal predovšetkým ako teologa. He himself understood first of all as a theologian. Z veľkým záujmom o, o svoju církev ako biskup církvi. Interested very much in the life of the church. He was a bishop of the church. Ale svet ho pozná aj ten taký neveriaci svet najmä z tých jeho pedagogických prác. But he is very famous especially in the European context first of all on the basis of his pedagogical works. Tu som uviedol niektoré diela, z ktorých budem čerpať Greg Didactic, Centrum Securitatis na, napríklad. So uh, here I have noted some of his uh, famous works, uh, you know, of course, Didactica Magna, and the, the next one is the uh, Center of Security, Centrum Securitatis. Najprv um, jeho vnímanie človeka ako v stvorení, alebo človek v stvorení. So first of all let me speak about a human being as a part of creation or the role of human being in the creation within the creation. Pre Komenského má človek centrálnu úlohu v Božom pláne, keďže ako aj titul konferencie hovorí o imago Dei, tak vníma človeka ako stvoreného na obraz Boží. So the human being has plays a central role in God's plan. Um, as also the title of the conference suggests, it's about human being, the center is human being. Človek je centrum v tom Božom stvorení práve preto, že je najdokonalejší, má rozum. The human, human being may be uh, placed within the center because it is a sentient being, uh, has uh, the, the ratio and is, so to speak, uh, the most um, Uh, the, the most perfect being. Alebo tak poeticky, že sa v človeku spája časné a väčšné, viditeľné a neviditeľné. Or we can say it in a very poetic way that in human being we can uh, connect the temporary with eternal, the visible with the invisible. Potom môžeme povedať, že človek má nejaké úlohy v tom stvorenstve. Môžem tak stručne naznačiť, že má vnímať alebo má, má iba Boha za toho jedného stvoriteľa ako najvyššieho nad sebou. For human being there are some quests uh, or tasks that has to fulfill in, his, in this world and the first task is to acknowledge God as the ultimate creator mm-hmm. of the world. Čo sa týka tých ľudských práv, tak tam môžeme povedať, že človek má chrániť svoju dôstojnosť a nemá sa nechávať zotročiť ani inými ľuďmi, ani vlastným telom. Uh, and concerning the human rights, the first task of human being is uh, uh, to protect uh, their own uh, dignity and uh, not let anyone enslave the human being. 
and uh, the human being cannot uh, and must not be enslaved uh, uh, first of all by his her own body. A práve naopak má všetky svoje prostriedky používať k službe iným. All the tools and all the gifts, anything that a human being owns has to be put to service to, yes. for others. Môžeme povedať, že Komensky videl všetkých ľudí ako stvorených na Boží obraz, deti, mužov a ženy. So for Comenius, um, uh, in his time, um, he saw all human beings, whether men, women or even children, uh, being created in God's image. A keď sme v predložovej prednáške načetli možno feminizmus, tak ako na okraj považoval na svoju dobu možno prekvapivo, muža aj ženy za rovných, muža aj ženy za rovných. And uh, in, in the previous lecture we have heard something about feminism, so for uh, Comenius, which is a quite surprising, in his era, men and women were equal. Taký širší obraz ako v človeka v stvorení, človek je súčasťou väčšej jednoty stvorenia. So now let's go big, let's go to a bigger picture of creation. Human being uh, is a part of bigger entity of creation or bigger creation, broader creation. Mám tu taký pekný citát v angličtine, poviem ho po slovensky. No, <laughs> The world is a simple organism, svet je jednoduchý organizmus, not that matter. It is a tree with roots and branches and God is the root of that tree. So, Uh, a pretože je svet Bohom stvorený, tak má mať aj človek svoj stred, stredovod v Bohu. Ako vidíme na obrázku, že v kolese tie špice majú svoj stred v tom náboju. So, um, he uses a beautiful image to describe uh, what should be the center of human life. Uh, it is mentioned in his uh, book, the, uh, cen- the Center of Security, Centrum Securitatis, and he uses an example of the wheel. Um, and uh, uh, just as the, as the wheel has its center, and it's the smallest part, and all the spikes are centered towards the wheel, so for human being, uh, God stands in the center of his life. Uh, ja si to predstavujem tak, že... Čím bližšie je človek k tomu stredu, tým je teda, tým je na tom lepšie, lebo je bližšie Bohu tomu centru stvorenia. Teda, the closer the human being is to the center, the better his life is, or the better for him, because he's closer to God. Komensky hovoril o nejakých ľudských schopnostiach, že človek má m, svoje túžby vrodené, Napríklad túžba po poznaní. So uh, Comenius also speaks about some, some human abilities. The first one is the desire to know. Tu je zaujímavé, že podľa Komenského ľudské poznanie sa stále prehlbuje. Dá sa povedať, že až do nekonečna, že mysel je taká hĺbina. Uh, and he says that human uh, knowledge goes deeper and deeper all the time. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it, it's limitless, so to speak, because our human mind or thinking is like a great abyss. Mm-hmm. A hoci moja prezentácia neobsahuje žiadne technológie okrem toho kolesa. And even though my presentation does not contain any technologies uh, besides the wheel that you have just seen. Tu môžeme naznačiť, čo je také mm, moderné, alebo čo vlastne umožňuje to naše ľudské napredovanie, to je to rozširovanie ľudského poznania. Uh, we can say that a very modern thing or contemporary thing is uh, to broaden the, the knowledge, the, the pool of knowledge. <coughs> Ďalej Komensky hovorí o túžbe po práci a vedení, stretávaní sa s ľuďmi. Then he speaks about the desire for work and for leadership, uh, the desire for meeting with people, mm-hmm. community. Spolu s ďalšími svojimi súčasníkmi hovorí o vrodených zmysloch, hej, komúne zlotície. Uh, also he speaks about the given abilities that were given to us by just being born, uh, komúne zlotície. A to je jazyk, zmysel pre právo a dobro. 
uh, the language, uh, the sense for good and, uh, and uh, the truth. Intellect, ktorého svetlom je písmo. The intellect, which is enlightened by the scriptures. A slobodná mi vôľa. And the free will. And it's in opera didactica omnia. S, tomu stavu človeka po páde, po páde do hriechu. But he also speaks about uh, the status of human being after fall to uh, sin. Tu sa zdá, že je to pre komenského zaujímavejšie z pohľadu odobratia duševných síl ako veci viny. So for Comenius it's uh, mostly about um, um, diminishing of the powers of the soul or, or the soul power than just the, 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 um, Lina. Guilt. the guilt of sin. Takže tam by bola tá strata zmyslu pre dobro mm, aj tej vôle. Tá, tá. So it's the loss of sense for what is good and what is true. Po páde je človek v stave, pre ktorý Komensky vytvoril svoje vlastné originálne dve slova, české pojmy. Uh, so for description uh, of the status of human being after the fall of sin, he actually created his own words, very, very, very poetic terms, very difficult to translate. A to je poprvé Jiudost, alebo German Andersvo, Andersvo o German. Jinudnost, to je také, mm-hmm. že človek je, nie je na svojom mieste. It's like being, human... Like being displaced. Yeah, you know? the human being yeah, is like never in his, his, her place, is displaced all the time. Že nie je na tom mieste pod Bohom, ale inde. It's, it's, he, he or she is placed not uh, on the, in the world under God, but it's somewhere else. Môžeme to osvetliť tak, že to, tá inú dosť je cesta inám ako k Bohu a k tomu zdokonaľovaniu. We can say that he, uh, the human being is on the way, but not towards God, uh, but somewhere else. So he doesn't see God and uh, uh, perfection. A druhý pojem, český samosvojnosť, nemecký zelbzuch, alebo selfishness, možno niečo také. Uh, it's, uh, samosvojnosť is something like like selfishness but it's not selfishness it's like doing doing and living on your own uh, yeah. it's like being yeah, close self sufficiency s- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah self sufficiency yes something like that yeah yeah mm-hmm. self sufficiency ano je to uzavretosť v lipnutí na sebe sám it's it, it's being enclosed uh, within oneself mm-hmm. bez ohľadu k Bohu aj svetu. Uh, with no regard towards God mm. or the world. A zahrňa to tú selfishness, sebectvo, závisť. Mm-hmm. So it, it includes all mm. the mentioned previously. Mm. A oslobodenie z tohto stavu je možno len s Božou pomocou. Hej. To get out of this state, uh, it is possible only with God's help. K tej vôli alebo k tomu stavu po páde sa ešte trošku vrátime neskôr. I will go back to the will and to the status after the fall. Stručne chcem spomenúť zložky človeka podľa Komenského a zložky jeho duše alebo mysle. But I want to go uh, to the uh, question which Komensky commented and those are the parts of human or the parts of human soul. Že najprv Komensky operoval len s pojmami telo a duša. Súčasť When človeka. he started Uh, he was speaking about body and, and the soul. Ale v neskorom období na koncu koncu života uvádza model jednoty tela, ducha a duše alebo mysle. But towards the end or as he progressed he speaks about uh, body, soul or mind and spirit. So soul and mind mm-hmm. are like the two sides of one coin. Tento problém toho pojmoslovia to ten tkvie v tom, že nemal vyjasnenú terminológiu aj tým, že tak dlho písal vlastne, bol veľký časový odstup medzi dielami a preto sú tam iné pojmy. So the terminology is uh, divided because there was a big uh, time, uh, time lapse between mm. when he started and when he went back to the idea. So 
he's not really unified on using the terminology. Popri tých zložkách človeka ho, hovorí o takých vyšších častiach človeka alebo m, tej duše, duševných schopnostiach. So according to him there are also higher parts of human or a, higher parts of human soul. A to je tiež je, to môže byť reason, will and act, uh, act. I think. A, alebo inak pamäť, rozum a vôľa. So it's either uh, thinking, will or and acting or in like in centrum securitatis it's uh, the memory, reason and will. Tej vôli, so let's go back to the will because this is one of the very important uh, points. Tu odmietal to tak kalvinskú náklodnosť k tej absolútnej skazenosti. He completely refused the Calvinist model of total depravity. A inklinoval skôr Melanchtonovi a Erasmovi. And he was more um, in, in accordance with Melanchton and Erasmus. Dôraz na slobodu vôle u Komenského vzrasta spolu s jeho rastúcim optimizmom o človeku. The emphasis on the freedom of the will grows together with his growing optimism towards, towards human beings. Človek sa môže zdokonaľovať a tá náprava, emendácie ľudských vecí je možná cez pancofickú reformu. He sees the human being as being able to uh, on the road to perfection, to perfectify, so to speak, the human being, and uh, it's through the pansophic re- reform. A jej hlavné elementy boli edukácia, náboženstvo a politika. And the main elements of this pansophic reform was the education, religion and politics. Ale základný pohľad sa u Komenského nezmenil ani počas jeho vývoja. So this basic view or basic uh, feature of Comenius's uh, uh, viewpoint uh, remained the same. Slobodná vôľa je korunou tých ľudských duševných schopností. The crown of uh, human abilities is freedom. Ale, freedom of the will. Ale pre našu spásu a večný život musí byť podriadená Božej vôli. But it's not, uh, it's not by itself Uh, for the sake of salvation and eternal life it has to abide by the will of God it has to be subordinate to the will of God O komenského odkaze pre súčasnosť možno mm, viesť dlhé debaty So concerning his legacy uh, we can debate for a very long time Nedá sa zrejme zobrať v, t- v jeho celistvosti I think it would be impossible to take him as such in, the, in all the complexity. Alebo ako niektorí píšu, že mm, možno tu hovoriť pri komenského snách o náprave veci nenapraviteľných. Mm-hmm. Or some people say that he tries to improve things that cannot be improved. Mm-hmm. Ale možno taký možný odkaz, by som povedal v troch bodoch, But maybe we can speak about his legacy in three points shortly. To, že máme brať vážne nedostatky jednotlivca aj celej spoločnosti. We have to take seriously uh, the imperfections of uh, uh, individual and the society. To je tak náboženský hriech a porušenosť. So in religious language we can speak and we should speak about the sin and uh, uh, corruption. corruption. Ale zároveň máme považovať človeka a považovať seba samých za krásne rozumné bytosti. But at the same time we should consider human being including us ourselves uh, as beautiful sentient beings. S nekonečnou túžbou po poznaní, učení a zdokonalovaní sa. With the limitless desire to know, to learn and to uh, grow in perfection. A k tomu sme vybavení tou slobodnou vôľou. And to this, uh, to this we were given the free will. Ale spomeniem aj tretí bod, ktorý možno tak nenáboženský ľudia by neakceptovaný. But I will mention also the third point that may not be accepted by non-religious people. Že slobodná vôľa musí byť pre dobro naše a našej spásy podriadená Božej vôli. The, the human free will must be for the sake of 
good, uh, goodness of, uh, or for the sake of good for human being, and for his redemption has to be subordinate to God's will. Thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> Uh, it is always a joy for, I think, each uh, doctor, father, uh, that, that's a German term because the English term is uh, eluding my mind, but I am a, a supervisor, a PhD supervisor, to have a student who, who can uh, study, who can talk and present in, uh, in, in the way that Martin just showed us, I think, uh, uh, the presentation was uh, uh, very well done, Martin. Thank you. So I'm, I'm proud and glad we have students like Martin. We don't have many students, but we have only some one Martin. students. <laughs> yeah, there is only one Martin, of course. Each, each of them is unique, but uh, so we are happy to well, have students. Because you are in college, mm -hmm. what is the yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, but it is also uh, that Michal mentioned that this student really wants to and is putting an effort yeah. into all he does. Of course, he is just in the beginning of, of his academic journey and uh, there is still much to learn and observe and he, he needs more experiences. But this is one of the experiences that I think will help you mature. So thank you for doing this for us. Uh, please, uh, are there any comments, questions from us? Yes. Yeah, I have a question. And I think you will understand my English. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, glass that. in Slovak language means image. Yes, obraz. Yes, yes. Because in Romanian language you have also the, this word obraz. In, is this part of the face? Obraz. <laughs> yeah. Which means Romanian is just the face. It's just the face. Obraz is face. Yeah. Ah, obraz is the face. Yeah. Oh, I see. Interesting. But in Croatian, are obrazi like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even, yeah. Also, you know, Not in plural. Yeah. Obrazi. You have to use obrazi. That mm -hmm. means you have red cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a similar question. Uh, Shopnosti, is this, are these virtues or what? Shopnosti the are these abilities. Uh, human. Uh, not spiritual, abilities, but abilities, human abilities. Uh, abilities of the soul or abilities of the mind. Abilities, okay. Or capabilities, maybe. Capabilities, yeah. Capabilities, okay. Do you think that Comenius would be equally optimistic if he lived through the 20th century? <laughs> I know it's a speculative I, question, yeah. but yeah, what's it? I think he, he lived during 30 years war, yeah. so yeah. it was catastrophic in yeah. his time also. Yeah. And then I, I, it's hard to, to say, but I think he will be also so op optimistic. He showed, also, he showed some resilience during his yeah. own time. Yeah? He I showed some sure. resilience and um, with this uh, um, medical equipment that we have today, it it will be maybe better for his children and his family. Mm -hmm. He he could uh, wait that his children doesn't um, die in the, yeah. the illness. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, in relation of my question, uh, this this sh shortness. Does he use this uh, term shopnost just for positive capabilities? Because you mentioned all the positive things, mm -hmm. desire for mm -hmm. knowledge, desire for, uh, for work and so on. Or could it be also a negative capabilities, you know, capabilities mm -hmm. for, this, for something bad? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, Comenius uses maybe this positive capabilities because he write about humans as the, the most perfect beings in the world mm -hmm. so he mentions the positive sides about human but uh, he's I believe he, he was 
aware also about negative sides of, of human characters or so, but I, I mm, don't know about some list of negative capabilities of human in, in Comenius works. Okay. All right. So thank you again. Uh, it was well done.